Oh, hey there. Welcome back to Cooking with Andy. America, land of the brave, home of the free. And we're going to be honoring this great nation by celebrating the 4th of July. On today's episode, we're going to be focusing on an American classic, dogs. Not this kind of dog. Hot dogs, America's number one food item consumed on the 4th of July. But before we get started, we've got to do something about this kitchen. Well, that's better. Let's go ahead and get started. Cooking with Andy. So today we're going to be cooking hot dogs. And not just any old hot dogs. We're going homemade using these fine ingredients. Most notably, we're going to be using my favorite, Mountain Dew, as well as infusing the hot dogs with Doritos and all bringing it all together into one pork casing that I got from the butcher this morning. And of course, it wouldn't be a Cooking with Andy without our Jiffy. And what I have here is our Jiffy baking mix. It's all purpose, and this is what we're gonna be using for our hot dog buns. So the first thing we're gonna do is get our oven prepared for the hot dog buns. So with that, we're gonna preheat the oven to 350 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and get our meat marinated. So I'm gonna spread the beef around so it's flat and even. The reason that I'm using beef is that uh, a lot of times in processed hot dogs, uh, much like you have here, um, you don't know what you're getting in these. Um, a lot of times there's rat's anus in it um, and a lot of other things that might just, uh, might not be appealing to you um, as, a, as a casual hot dog eater. What we're gonna wanna do is get the egg on here. And what the egg in here is gonna be, it's a binding agent. So when we're actually putting it into the hot dog casing, it's actually gonna stick together rather than fall apart. I'm using brown sugar here. Gonna add in some corn as well. What we're gonna wanna make sure we put in there is our Doritos. We're just gonna crunch them up and just make sure we get them all in there. Give a nice uh, accent and a crunch against the uh, softness of the meat. We're gonna wanna add our Mountain Dew Dew Shine. What this is gonna do is really bring out the flavor of the hot dog. And normally on a Cooking with Andy, we like to taste it, but we don't wanna be tasting meat because of food poisoning. Did you know what the number one killer in America is today? It's food poisoning. What you can do is you can bring it close to your face and just smell it up. And what I smell here is a, yeah, I'm getting citrus. I'm getting Mountain Dew, I'm getting Doritos, and just a hint of corn. So this is perfect. So what we're gonna let this do is we're gonna let this sit here, we're gonna marinate it. While we're letting this marinate, we're gonna go ahead and get started on our bread. We want to get all the ingredients together to make our hot dog buns. So what we're gonna add is two cups of Jiffy baking mix, three quarters of a cup of sugar, Crisco. This is about a quarter cup, we're just gonna put that in there. And then we're also gonna wanna add two eggs. We wanna get a good mix going. You can see it's kind of a really thick mixture right now, but what we're gonna be adding is a little bit more liquid. We're gonna add our mustard and ketchup mixture. We're just gonna wanna squeeze the ketchup in there. I'm also going to add our mustard. And then we're gonna wanna get your hands down, down and dirty in here. We're going to pour it into our nine by five oven loaf. So we'll go ahead and slide it up here on the top, set the timer for 50 minutes and we'll be all set to go. All right, so now the real fun portion of making the hot dog begins. So what you're gonna wanna do is take the casing. You're gonna wanna find the end of it. You're gonna wanna open it up. It's a little bit like opening up a condom and sliding it onto the shaft. What we're gonna do is take our meat mixture we're gonna to wanna to take about a handful. We're gonna put it into the opening. I'm gonna pat it in there so it gets a chance to catch on the spinner. And you can see the meat slowly come through. You can actually see it, there we go. What you're gonna to wanna to do first is actually slide the bulk of the casing onto the, uh, onto the shaft. We'll probably slide on a good chunk on here because what the meat's gonna do is come out we're gonna pull the casing off. So I'm just gonna continue to crank it out. As you can see, it's starting to pop out. It's looking really good. And we're gonna make about five, six inch hot dogs. I think that's about average in the United States. We're going to just kind of give it a big push. And I'm gonna crank it fast. See, our next hot dog's getting a little bit bigger. But these casings are actually stronger than you'd think. You'd think they'd rip up, but you know, they're made out of pigskin. Pigskin is one of the strongest and most solid pieces of uh, material on earth. What better way to celebrate the holidays than it is to make your own homemade hot dogs? When your friends come over, they're gonna take a bite out of it. They're gonna notice instantly, this isn't Oscar Mayer, this isn't Hate, this isn't Nathan's. Um, this is yours, this is Andy. Um, and what's great is everybody's gonna be like, hey, what's, you know, what's the added flavor and why does this taste so good? And you can say, hey, I made it myself. As you can see, we're pumping out our fifth and final hot dog. Beautiful hot dog, looks natural. You can see the tip. Um, it just looks and feels just like a natural hot dog. For an added bonus, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be boiling our hot dogs in Mountain Dew. We're gonna go ahead and uh, put this into our uh, Mountain Dew mixture. We're just gonna pick them up like this. And you wanna slowly just get them into the Mountain Dew mixture here. We're just gonna drop that in here. 
I also made a couple little uh, hot dog balls. We're gonna throw those in there as well. Okay, so now that these uh, hot dogs are boiling up, um, we're gonna let these cook for about 30 minutes. We're gonna pull the bread out of the oven. We're gonna put it here. We're gonna let this cool down for about 15 minutes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bread, we're gonna cut it into our hot dog buns. Just a pretty straight on cut right down the middle. And then we're also gonna cut it right down the middle here. And now we've got four beautiful hot dog buns. We're actually gonna cut just a little triangle off the top. And this is just gonna give a little gap here um, for the hot dogs to rest in. All right, so it looks like our hot dogs are ready to go. And uh, just be a little bit careful, they can be a little bit fragile, so you wanna make sure you grab them in the middle. We're gonna take our, our hot dogs and we're gonna put them right onto the bun. Since the buns are actually already infused with our mustard and ketchup formula, we've got some really good Velveeta cheese spread. You just need to take a little bit and just smear it right on top. So now that we've got our hot dogs ready to go, um, what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna invite my friends over and we're gonna go ahead and kick off our 4th of July party. Hey guys, why don't you come on in? Thanks for coming over to my 4th of July sausage party. <laughs> yeah, it's good to be here. Um, I've been working on these hot dogs all day. These are homemade, they're not Oscar Mayer. These are Cooking with Andy style hot dogs. The actual hot dogs are infused with Mountain Dew. Um, not only Dew Shine, but regular Mountain Dew as well. So go ahead and dig in. Let me know what you think about the hot dogs. I'm gonna have a bite too. My best creation yet. I'm um, so cheers guys. Happy cheers. Fourth of July. Happy Fourth. Yeah, thank tip you. Thank you. Thanks guys for coming over. Yeah. Mmm. Happy birthday, America. Be sure to click subscribe so you don't miss a second of Cooking with Andy. Thanks for joining us today. See you later and do the do. Mountain Dew hot dogs.